pencil's getting a little short, but it's never done. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how you have to be bad to get real good. And you've probably heard the old phrase, practice makes perfect, but I'm here to tell you that that's actually a lie. No doubt practice will help you improve and you should be drawing every damn day, but chasing perfection around is like chasing rainbows. Perfection is just an illusion and perfection is also the enemy of the good. And tons of artists out there often hold back on pushing forward because they feel like their art just isn't good enough or you wanna pursue something else, but you feel that you're bad at it. And you know, you might indeed be bad at it, at least right now. And that's the real secret. You have to be willing to be bad before you can get to really good. And the only way to do that is to dive right the fuck in. No fear, no judgment of your own work, and really be studious of whatever that thing is that you're desiring to do. It has nothing to do with being a beginner or an old pro. Even old pros get stuck in this mud. Quick example from my side, a few months ago, I bought these Posca markers, you know, the, the paint markers, and I still haven't opened them <laughs> from their packages. The urge and the desire to use them was there for sure. I had seen some amazing art with the Posca markers online and I thought, I wanna try that. It looked like a lot of fun, but I didn't start. Why? Well, honestly, it's partly because I'm really freaking busy and I'm saying yes to a lot of things right now. But the other side is, I was just too afraid that I'd be really bad at it. And that sounds really weird to just say out loud that I was just afraid that I'd be bad at it. So I just didn't even start, but I wanted to, but I didn't start. And saying this out loud now, it's a reminder to me that I should carve out some time in my busy schedule to explore these. And now I will. And I wanna pause real quick here. If you enjoy this type of content, there's a couple ways that you can support the Draw or Die Club. Number one, you can just make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like it, hit the bell, because it helps YouTube find more artists like you. And that's free. You can totally do that free. It's just pushing a couple buttons and I really appreciate it. Number two, you could buy some merch from the club. They should be floating around here down on the, the channel somewhere. We have hats and cool stickers and t-shirts. Look at how cool these stickers look on just about anything. And we have the daily drawing club for $5 a month. That's an exclusive sticker you get in the Daily Drawing Club. And you get a lot of other perks in the Daily Drawing Club. And we're building the world's raddest drawing club, so you should join us. I'm gonna drop all the links in the description, but don't go there yet. Let's continue with today's topic right now. I often say would be, could be, should have beens. I encounter a lot of artists who say, I always wanted to draw comics, but, and it's always the same thing. Or I always wanted to be a tattoo artist, but, or I always wanted to, whatever the art thing that they want to do is, it's always the same story. And it usually is that they just think that they won't be good enough at it yet. So why even bother starting it? Like the only way to start making comics is to just start making comics. And in comics particularly, there's a saying that old pros say about, you have to get through a thousand bad pages before you get to the good ones. And then you have to get through a thousand more before you get to the great ones. That's a lot of dedication to put in. You might find yourself saying, well, maybe next month I'll do whatever. Or maybe when X happens, then I can Y and then I'll finally Z. But newsflash and a little reminder for you, your time is limited. Tomorrow is not promised. Stop putting these things that you want to do deep down off. You gotta start today. I think kind of the messed up thing is that we've been programmed to expect instant results. Isn't it crazy that we live in a society where everyone wants instant results all the time? Your meal better be delivered super fast and it better taste damn good. Or you might launch a social media account for your artwork and you give up because you start feeling bad when nobody follows it or engages with your work. And you have that little voice inside that's like, you just weren't good enough, or nobody gives a shit about you, you're an imposter. And we already know that that's all BS. You shouldn't listen to that voice. But here you are, you wanna pick up these Posca markers and instantly crap out masterpieces onto a page. How unrealistic are we all with that? You know, maybe you can't draw animals or maybe you can't draw feet, Rob Liefeld. But here's the simple truth. Getting good takes time and dedication. But it doesn't have to take a lot of time. It can just start with 10 minutes a day and drawing something small. 
you can actually get from bad to good in a little bit of time. Getting to great, well, that's just gonna take more consistency and more time. And to be really great, it takes dedication and a willingness to be wrong while keeping an open mind to new possibilities. Getting to perfect, that's complete fantasy. There is no such thing as perfect. Especially when you're drawing and you just feel like crumbling it up and throwing it away, you just have to keep pushing through it. You don't have to finish the drawing, but don't trash it because it's not perfect in your mind's eye. Nothing is ever going to be perfect, no matter what level of art that you are on. No matter what part of your art journey you're on, you're never gonna find perfection. You're always gonna be just chasing it around and feeling bad and miserable about yourself. You have to take patience with the craft. Now, I don't know about any of you, but I'm sure a few of you understand what I'm about to say is true. There's something awesome about taking the time and dedicating yourself to a craft. In the case of drawing, it's learning the subtle art of illusion. Um, how do you make things pop off the page? How do you bend light without light? How can random lines on a piece of paper or blocks of black make a person feel something when they look at it? That's the magic. That's the real craft of creating art. And remember, artists are like magicians in that way. You're just slowly learning these spells. You might not know how to draw a cat right now, but you gotta learn the spell. You gotta learn how to draw that out. Drawing is magic. What about you? What are you struggling with? What are you avoiding because you think you're bad at it? I wanna challenge you to start working on something that you've been putting off. It's time to dive right in. This week's drawing challenge prompt is bad to the bone. <laughs> So what's the first thing that pops into your head when you hear that? You're gonna draw it. And after you're done drawing it, you're gonna post it somewhere, even if it's bad. And you're gonna tag it, draw or die club. Hashtag draw or die club so that other members in our club can find you, and support you, encourage you, even if you think it's not good enough. Even if you think it's not good enough, remember, just not yet. You gotta be bad to get good. That's all for today. Stay encouraged out there, draw every day, and I'll see you back here real soon. Back to the drawing board for me. I'm going to try out these, these Posca markers and see if I can do anything with it. <laughs>